All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program. And today is going to be an interesting day. Uh, most likely full of explosions, because today I'm gonna mess around with space planes, <laughs> and I'm worried about that. I've uh, I've always avoided the space plane hangar here in the game because, well. I'm not a good pilot in games, which is a little sad considering my brother is actually a flight instructor. You'd think I'd have picked up something along the way, but no. So yeah, right now the only thing I've actually used the space plane hangar for was to build our boat. <laughs> uh, I still need to play around with this a bit more. But today, I decided to jump in and make the XA-01. I don't know why I called it that, but it felt right. <laughs> it's just a, a basic, crappy little plane, really. I put a oh, not a whole lot of time into this, so I hope it works well for me. Though I did make one addition onto this space plane later on, after doing one or two small test flights, uh, the decoupler and the parachute. Because, well, again. I'm not a good pilot, so i rather give my Kerman in the cockpit a slight chance of survival. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a pretty simple aircraft. We are using this, uh, what's the name of it? The Mark I fuselage with jet fuel. I was originally using this fuel tank, uh, but it's a lot heavier than these. It does have a bit more fuel when you take two of these compared to one of these, size-wise, but these are a lot lighter, and when I was using this, it was just too heavy. I couldn't even get the plane off the runway in time. <laughs> it was... it wasn't good. So, yeah, I w ended up using these. Uh, also, the addition of these engine nacelles. I honestly don't know exactly what they do. They function as an air intake, so I'm guessing they're important. Uh, <laughs> but I honestly have no idea. I've, like I said, I've never really done anything in the space plane hangar. And then I threw on some ram air intakes too, just to, you know, be on the safe side, make sure we had enough air going to the, into the engines. And just, just for now, you know, first plane uh, that I've really ever built <laughs> in this game. I just went with the Mark I jet engines, or the basic jet engines, sorry. I was tempted to go with the turbojet ones, but I figured for now, eh, probably start basic. Oh, I have no idea how this design is going to fare. Uh, all I've done is basically run it down the runway and take off and get a few meters off the ground. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I have no idea how in the world this thing is going to handle uh, out there in the real world. Well, the virtual real world. So let's give it a go and see how the XA-01 fares. Hopefully I don't have to use the ejection system, but it'll probably happen. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, and we're on the runway now, and we have Thopner Kerman. Huh, that's a new one, haven't seen him before. But yeah, okay, it is daytime, that is a bonus. Oh, let's turn the controls to the, uh, the fine-tune controls. The good old caps lock. And, yeah, let's... Let's go. <laughs> oh, I, one thing I did notice, and I don't know why it does this, but it wants to pull to the right while trying to take off. So I have to kind of compensate to the left, but if I do it too much, it flips. And things go horribly, horribly wrong. But, oh, oh, not enough, not enough, not enough. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We are in the air. <laughs> All right, let's lift the nose up a bit more. E okay, let's just keep the SAS on. 
to help level this thing out. And let's true okay, 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 I see I saw I see I saw. <laughs> Thoughtner seems to be enjoying himself in there. Let's see what his view looks like. Not a whole lot. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, not a whole lot at all. Uh, yeah, ooh, my engines are overheating. I didn't notice that before. Let's just lower this down a little bit. So it does fly. I, uh, it's kind of twitchy, but with the SAS on, it seems to stay a fairly stable course, which is a good thing. I did put the gear up, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, we've gotten a good distance now from the Space Center, though at an odd angle. My hope was to try and just go straight down on the 90, then turn around and try and land. Uh, but coming off at this angle, I don't know how well that's going to work for me. <laughs> uh, it was an interesting enough time taking this thing off. I honestly have no idea how it's going to fare in landing. Uh, okay, how far are we away? About 16, 17 kilometers. Let's try and start to turn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right, that's not not going too badly there. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. No, we don't want to be upside down. All right. Say us back on. Hey, this is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. Let's see if we can try and line up for a landing. I sincerely doubt that's going to happen. But you never know. Ooh, okay, whoa, okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, SAS back on. Oh wow, you know, this is actually going a lot better than I assumed. Uh, let's pull the nose up a bit. Try and get ourselves a bit more flat. Ooh, no, I don't want to be actually going up. Let's turn the throttle down a bit. I have no idea how that's going to affect us. Actually, it appears like I'm not that badly lined up. Huh. I am greatly surprised by this. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put the landing gear down now so that I don't forget about it. And... Okay, I think I need to turn the engines back up a bit. I think we may be coming down a bit too much. Okay, I'm, I'm veering off of the path of the runway. That's not good. Me trying to make minor corrections is... Ooh, screen is flashing. Alright, we're going to be passing over our boat. Which did not make it very far from shore. For some reason, I remember it being farther out than that. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, okay, I'm really off from the runway. Oh, God, okay, all right, let's bring the engines down a bit more. Oh, God, too much, too much, too much, no! Oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we're not landing on the runway. <laughs> oh, oh, God, oh, God, ah, oh, that... That could have gone better. <laughs> Oh, you know, it was actually going pretty well. We had a three, almost four minute long flight, and until I lost my alignment with the runway, I figured, well, maybe I can land on the ground. <sighs> but that didn't go very well. 
I kind of have a feeling it was because I turned on the brake. I don't know why I did that. I should have throttled all the way down first, let the thing kind of roll around the terrain for a bit, and then apply brakes slowly. But I freaked out a little. <laughs> <laughs> and oh we lost Thopner Kerman oh that's that's sad okay I think that plane needs to go back to the drawing board but I want to try flying a little bit more here today because like I said I haven't really done a whole lot with it so let's go back to the space plane hangar and look at one of the pre-built planes which I'm fairly certain probably handle far far better than mine does <laughs> alright yeah brought up the Eris 3A it looks like it's the most basic aircraft in the whole stock library so I'm assuming that it flies quite simply as well. Ooh, there's a air scoop right at the bottom. Hey, that kind of freaks me out. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> but I'm assuming being the simplest aircraft, it's probably going to be the easiest to fly. Uh, I don't know if that makes any logical sense whatsoever, but it does in my brain. So <laughs> let's just take this thing out to the runway and see how it goes. And for our poor test pilot, we have Bartman Kerman today. Oh, Bartman, let's hope you have a better fate than the last pilot. Oh, with whose name I've already forgotten. Wow, it was just like a minute ago. Ah, uh, there's short-term memory for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was really sad by that flight. I, if I was going to crash, I wish I would have at least tried to use the parachute, but whoa, that thing takes off quick. Oh, uh, but yeah, I was already on the ground. The parachute was not going to help me whatsoever. Oh wow, yeah, this thing does fly. It's fly very well compared to mine. It's quite the nippy little aircraft. And it also doesn't seem to stagger about like mine does. I don't have the SAS on, and yet this thing's flying pretty much straight. Whereas my plane, without the SAS on it, it tends to do things, which isn't good. But yeah, this, this is quite a nice little aircraft. Why can't I build something like this? <laughs> huh, I wonder how well it handles. Let's, let's do a flip. Whee! Okay, it's not quite as fast of a flip as I thought, but still. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, and what I do? Oh, all right, okay, okay, okay. Pull it out, buddy, pull it out. Just, you can do it. I accidentally hit the wrong key when I was trying to rotate the plane. <laughs> and it all went downhill from there. Okay, that's... All right, with how nippy this thing is, it's very twitchy on the controls, even with the sort of... Oh, why am I suddenly blanking on the word? Ah, uh, the fine-tuned controls. There we go. Ha! Ah, brain is not wanting to work today. Yeah, even with the fine-tuned controls, this thing just kind of jumps about. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Yeah, turn, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right. Okay. Now I'm kind of curious how this thing handles without the fine-tuned controls. Huh. And actually not so different. That kind of surprises me. Hmm. Definitely did the little loop-de-loop -loop a bit better in... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, okay, we're safe. <laughs> oh, oh man, but this thing does not have an SAS on it. So, it's not exactly uh, a pointed-in-a-direction-and-leave-it sort of craft. Let's... okay, I want to try and land again with this small little eh, plane. Let's turn back on the fine tune controls. That wasn't quite as bad. Ooh, okay, okay, I spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. 
Roll back around. Oh god, roll back around. <laughs> okay, well. That could have gone better. You know what? Fine tune controls off. I'm just going to flip this baby around. Because <laughs> this can only end well for me. And let's flip it around. Hey, that actually worked quite well. Thing is, oh jeez, this thing is difficult to control. I don't actually think I'm going to be able to line this thing up on the runway. So, you know what? I'm going to try another terrain landing, see how this functions with this smaller aircraft. Let's put down the landing gear. Okay, okay. Ooh, fine-tuned controls aren't on. That would help. I'm just going to cut the engines now. So yeah, just going to try the terrain landing again, see if it really was the terrain or my braking on the last one. Yeah, I think it was my use of the brakes. That, ah, uh, I could have had a Carmen still alive if I would have braked more conservatively. Uh, that saddens me. But... <laughs> Oh well, it was a successful flight. Bartman is on the ground next to the runway, so hey, not a very far walk to get back home. <laughs> yeah, oh, that disappoints me now. I could have I could have saved that last flight if I wouldn't have just hit the parking brake right away. I should have been a bit more careful with that. Uh, but live and learn, live and learn. But yeah, I need to definitely spend some more time working with the space planes because I would actually like to build a reusable space plane that can actually go up into orbit and deliver crew or whatever it is up to the space stations that I plan on building. I have so many plans for those. But yeah, so I, I would really like to do a reusable aircraft. I'll probably never be able to land on this runway, but <laughs> if I can just get it on the ground, I would be happy. So, yeah, I need to play around with the designs a bit more, as well as with flying, because, oh, I am certainly not good at that. But in time, hopefully I will improve, and hey, if any of you have any suggestions on a good design for a space plane, or any tips on piloting, please do leave them in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it, as would Bartman, because, well, poor guy doesn't want to go out like the last Kerman. Eesh. You were the lucky one, my friend. You were the lucky one. And he knows it. Look at him doing his little dance of joy there. But, <laughs> yes, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And, of course, that you come back for the next. And, as always, my friends, have a good one.